Hey, my name is Ralph and I'm with Flex Film. And yes, I sell window film. What we're gonna talk about today is ceramic window film. You see, I've been specializing in selling ceramic window film for well over 15 years. Everybody's trying to sell this product based on how much energy, solar energy, doesn't get to the other side of the glass. I'm not saying that's wrong. We need to minimize that value. That value is something all window film can do. But ceramic is special. If you have the right ceramic film or a great ceramic film, what it does is it gives us heat insulation. Let's quit using that word ceramic. Let's focus on the phrase heat insulation. The first little test I wanna to do to challenge this IR solar energy method of selling the ceramic window film is something I came up with. I, I got some Neutrogena sunscreen, which is a 110 SPF. I think they've discontinued it. But I'm gonna just actually take this meter right here and I wanna show you. Now I know this is uneven and there's light and clear spots, but overall I'm getting about 85% IR broad spectrum. And I've got this nice solar spectrum meter from EDTM to demonstrate that. I can come here. It's a little bit more than 85, but I'm just gonna call it 85 because it's a little more stout than that, but just 85 is a round number. Let's just deal around numbers, okay? I have our Panaflex 15%, which is transparent. And I can also use the same meter. We can see what the broad spectrum IR rejection number is here. Transmission number, actually. Uh, it's a 14. Again, the sunscreen's a little better, but let's just call them both a 85 because we're splitting hairs here. It's just, they're pretty even. If these are two 85 IR cut methods to stop solar energy from getting through the glass, let's see what our heat sheet thinks about that, okay? In the presence of heat, this heat sheet's gonna change colors. Here we go. Looks pretty, up. Oh, boom. There's no brakes on this heat, man. It's going straight through. Sunscreen for protection, 85 for the wind. Heat rejection, no wind here, it's a loss. Let's take the same protection here and let's put our film in there with heat insulation and let's see if there's a difference. So far, so good. And there you go. See, it's coming through, but it's coming through very slow. If you put your hand in front of this right now, it's gonna feel really good. We never stop heat, but we can slow it down with a non-conductive layer in the film. There's nothing non-conductive in this example right here. And that's why we're not able to put the brakes on the heat. So isn't that interesting? If you're going with IR and you're trying to figure out which one of the films is better based on the IR numbers, this test really is making, making it hard on you right now. In this scene, I wanna talk a little bit more about the heat insulation side that nobody seems to talk about. And I like to just use a piece of paper to demonstrate that. This is what I would get out of a printer or a copy machine, eight and a half by 11. And what I wanna point out, and I know it's not transparent, I know it's not tent. Don't think too hard about this, okay? I just wanna put this piece of paper in front of this heat bulb and I wanna push this button. I just want you to see what it does. Um, it really starts slowing the heat down because it's made of paper. It's not perfect, but if you were to use this piece of paper and go in front of a campfire, a furnace, and put it between you and the heat source, you're gonna get relief. You can even go real world if you're one of those kind of people. Go outside, look at the sun, hold it up. You'll, get, you'll feel the, the difference. This is what heat insulation is doing. But just imagine for a second that if we figured out a way to take nanoparticles off the periodic table and mix them with our hard coat and make it clear, beautiful, and transparent, but still have the properties of a sheet of paper. And we can even add more particles and we can have like two sheets of paper or three sheets of paper. And we can give you the same heat insulation value that these paper can give you. So here's my, my little quick experiment. This is our, this is a carbon film. It's about 20, uh, 15 to 20% visible light transmission. And the um, IR performance on this broad spectrum is about 62%. You know, so I can sit here and talk about how, how much IR this film has, how great it is. And I can compare it to another brand that's got, you know, 70 IR. If it doesn't have heat insulation, it doesn't have heat insulation. And I'll just put this film here and I'll hit this button. And we'll just quickly, 
There's no brakes on this. There's no heat insulation. It doesn't matter how much IR technology you have in this film. It's not going to slow heat down if there's no non-conductive material in this film. So here's, a, here's what I did just to emphasize my point. I took this same film right here, this 20% carbon, and I glued it. I mean, I took the release liner off and I glued it to this same sheet of paper. Here it is. I, I, made, I made ceramic in the lab with a piece of paper representing the hard coat that's non-conductive material that we would sell at Flex Film. And so I'm gonna put the, um, I don't care which side we put on there. I'll put the heat insulation side first, I guess, whatever. And then I'm gonna put the, push the button and I'm gonna show you when we interrupt heat with a non-conductive material like paper, we can slow it down. It doesn't matter what the IR performance is. That's protection. We're, we're talking about heat insulation, totally different. See how, see how I slow that down? I mean, if I don't have that there, look how it just blows up. Heat insulation is really what we start, need to focus on. Okay, for my last test, I have two carbon films, okay? Uh, believe it or not, this one's about a 20% and this, this one's about a 15%. This one has no heat insulation. It has a regular hard coat. This one has a heat insulation hard coat or a ceramic hard coat or a whatever you want to call it, okay? Same films, the same films. This one's just got a little more carbon because it's a little darker. But again, I, I want to show you, this is no heat insulation right here. And um, it's, there's no brakes. This one's the same exact film, a little darker. I'm gonna let it. I don't even care if it cools down. I don't care. It's just, uh, see how so much slower that is? I know that heat sheet was a little hot, but it's still not blowing up. Watch. Here's no heat insulation. There's a big difference. Big difference. If you, I wish I could, you could put your hand there. But anyway, these are the three tests I wanted to show you. If you're a professional, you're either trying to buy this product or you're trying to sell this product to a customer, put on their car. Where do you see the value in this product? The value I see in this product is its ability to insulate you from heat. Trying to sell this product based on its ability to stop solar energy at the glass and how much or how little of it's getting through is not the value of this product. We need to minimize that. We need to look at ceramic and we, we need to understand that it's a non-conductive material in our film and its function is to insulate us from heat. And the best ceramic films are the ones, in terms of performance, are the ones that slow the heat down the best. And unfortunately, in our industry, we have no standard to go by, and we have no way to express that standard if it doesn't exist. So it's tricky to sell window film this way, trying to articulate it with a number or a standard that doesn't exist. So what do we do? We go back to a heat source, a heat box. I mean, you could use a furnace, a campfire, you could just go out there with the sun or you know, a bulb like this in a box, create a heat source, put your hand in front of it, use emotions to try to sell it to a customer rather than explanation, which is gonna get you in trouble, especially if they see a video like this that really debunks the IR method on which window film, especially ceramic, is the best. Please consider this when you're making decisions. Whether you're buying or selling, this is the way you need to do it. And if you're buying, consider Flex Film because if you want some of the best heat insulation, we got it.